Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Borg Warner. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Jeff Stout is the Executive Director of Global Innovation at the supplier company Yang Fang. And uh, you guys just won an award for light weighting. Yeah, kind of an exciting award uh, with Altair. Altair has the Enlighten Award. Uh, so yeah, we were uh, given the award yesterday. Uh, the design that they awarded us uh, is an integration of a passenger airbag module and the instrument panel into a single component. Um, it's kind of a cool uh, opportunity that presents itself to YF because we have a safety division belts and bags, uh, as well as an interior division, the instrument panel. Most people would have to design those as two separate components and bolt them together, which is the way we've done it in the industry as long as we've had uh, airbag modules. Uh, so to be able to put all that together into a single system and say, hey, let's, no boundaries, let's design a system that's optimized between the two. Uh, and that's what was recognized by Altair. Yeah, but this is what I really want to get into. You took your airbag people and your instrument panel people and you had them work together. Absolutely. You integrated the design. You took more of a systems approach to it. Correct, which is a huge uh, initiative at YF right now because uh, over the last years, uh, we've had interiors globally uh, coming out of Johns Controls and other uh, activity, uh, but now we're taking all of the other businesses that YF has had for years in China, China only, and now bringing those outside of China. So seating, safety, electronics, uh, and so we're seeing a ton of value in bringing all of those groups together and saying, hey, uh, let's not just design a seat and an instrument panel and an airbag. What happens when we bring that together? One of the more interesting things uh, that that's led to is the area of the steering wheel. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts, but from my perspective, the steering wheel is an under, it's, it's massively brand central. It, the user has got that in their hands every time they get in the car. And the steering wheel, not so different from 20, I mean, it was metal, and so they, ooh, we went to a skin. Yeah. Um, we added an airbag, uh, but it's looked the same forever. Uh, and so we're starting to see automakers now really express a desire to have a different uh, UI, uh, with displays, uh, images, uh, switches that are not these clunky mechanical switches, remove the stalks. Get, and the only way to really do that effectively is to be able to have electronics, to be able to have safety, and to have manufacturing processing knowledge of how to get that into a, a seamless execution. And so we're seeing a lot of resonance from our customers when we go in with this integrated smart steering wheel to say, yeah, we need more of that. Because you took a total systems approach. Correct. And so what do you think this opens up for the auto industry, especially as it goes to electric cars. It would seem to me this is a brilliant opportunity to take the time and do it from a system standpoint. Correct. And just as a side note as well, Tesla, uh, being Tesla, we, it seems like we talk about Tesla every time we get together. Right. So they came out with the Model S that had the yoke steering wheel, the U-shaped steering wheel, and lots of discussion in the marketplace whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. How do you do that on a parking lot? But I'm here to tell you, there isn't a design studio in the world right now that doesn't have a U-shaped steering wheel on their boards. And they're like, I'm not sure this is a good idea, but Tesla did it. So, yeah. um, so that belief that you can revolutionize what is in the hands of the consumer while they're driving the vehicle is ripe. Uh, and so it, it opens up all kinds of opportunities for us. Ele Electric-wise, the, the control unit for the switches and what, historically that's always been a separate module because you had to have a separate, well what happens when you can integrate that as well? So all the switching and the ECU controlling the switching is all considered one system. Mm -hmm. The amount of efficiency and really value that you can bring to the consumer is really pretty striking. I think you're gonna see some amazing steering wheels in the marketplace in the next couple of years. So how did the OEMs take that to the next level? Because you're taking this integrated systems design mm -hmm. standpoint, but you're doing it for the steering wheel or the airbag module. It has to be done for the whole car, right? And I, and I, so how do suppliers work with OEMs to get that to happen? Yeah, so we're doing as much as we can, but it's, it's still not vehicle level integration, it's uh, still subsystem integration. So IP cockpit integration, safety seat, having bags and belts and the seat all integrated into a single solution. But yeah, how do you integrate then the entire vehicle as a system? We're working with OEMs to try and uh, help facilitate that, but at the end of the day, that's the OEM has to be the leader and driver of that. Uh, but we are seeing kind of moves in that direction to say, how do we master plan this such that we have the ability to have an, an integrated vehicle interior that's then easily modifiable? Again, I think a little bit of a Tesla effect. Uh, the OTA, every day being able to have a new car. How, how do we do that on the software side? But even on the hardware side, how do we get a refresh to our uh, total interior experience 
annually, biannually, as opposed to, oh, it's, we'd spend three years, it's time for a mid-cycle enhancement. That, that model is in the history books. Uh, people looking to get kind of that continuous improvement, well, that has to be designed in at a system level. You can't just have designed of little modules and expect to be able to do that. That's right. Jeff, I always love talking to you. I always learn something. Thanks for your time again. <laughs> oh, John, it's a pleasure. Thanks, sir. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. 